Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see conditional parameters. So this is the agenda. We will see conditions on job statement. Then we will see conditions on exec statement. Then we will see if else statement. So we'll start with conditions on, on job statement. So they, they are coded on job statement and job steps are executed based on the conditions mentioned in the job step itself. So if you code a condition at the job level, job statement level, then it will be applicable to all the steps which are there in that JCL. So it checks the return code from the previous step which is used for comparison and in the syntax it will be more clear. So here you can see condition, then return code, operator and then it checks from the, for the previous step like the return code from previous step after this. You do not need to code it here, it takes automatically this thing. So Return code can be from 0 to 4095, here 0 means success and then we have operator. So we will see operators. So we have greater than, it can be greater than or equal to or it can be equal to or it can be not equal or less than or less than or equal to. We can choose any one of them based on our requirement. Then we will see how we are reading this, how system is reading this and how we will we have to code it. So zero equal to suppose if we have given return code as 0 and if we have given operator as equal to like if we in the job statement you mentioned condition equal to 0 comma operator as equal then how this will read is so suppose the first step will be executed automatically so from the first step we will get a return code so it will check the return code for that suppose if the return code is 0 from the previous step it will see 0 equal to return code from the first step was 0 so this is successful like this is true this condition is true at that point of time it will bypass this step if the condition is true then the step will be bypassed and it will go to the next step and start proceeding from there itself then we have conditions on exec statement so this is coding coded on the exec step level at job statement and then we can code that at uh, exec step as well like on the, on the step levels we can do that then the syntax is return code operator step name even and only so the only difference here is uh, return code and operator are same here you need to mention the step name like from which step it should check the return code it's you can mention step 4 step 5 step 6 any step you can mention here and even and only so they are optional you don't need to code them every time it depends on the requirement so even is to if step will be executed even if of the uh, even if any of the previous steps terminate abnormally and only is coded when step will execute only if one of the previous steps terminate abnormally. So these are even and odd and how this will read? Suppose if it is 0 and here we have mentioned equal to and we have mentioned step 1 or step 2 and the condition code returned from that is step 2 is 0. So it will see 0 equal to 0, condition is true and this will bypass that step. Now we have if else condition, then what we do is in if else here we mention if in condition you need to check only for status codes which from the previous return codes because we get we have check only on the previous return code status so here you can mention any step if condition any step then else if this part is true this step will be executed else it will go to the else part and this step will be executed so based on the conditions it's, it decides whether to execute the if block or whether to execute the else block so now let's see all these functions practically we will see how to code conditions at job level and exec level. I have already created 5 JCLs which will cover different scenarios. So let me open that. Reset. In this JCL, I have coded condition at job level. So, this condition will be applicable to step 2 only because it needs return code of the previous step. Step 1 will be executed normally, then the return code of that step, step 1, that return code will be used to check the conditions on step 2. So we have given condition, condition is equal to 0, equal and then it checks, it checks this 0 with the step 1 return code. So how we read it, 
0 equal to return code of step 1. So we know program 1 will give 0 as a return code. So 0 equal to 0 condition will be satisfied and step 2 will not be executed. So we'll submit this SUB enter So here you can see maxis is equal to 0 and it has mentioned step 1 also like step 1 given completion code as 0. We'll go to spool and check. Before that program 1, program 2 they are just displaying lines this is program 1, this is program 2. So we'll go to spool option 5 SDSF then ST status of jobs we'll search for our job so uh, I'm setting a filter here to view the job name by the by ascending order of job name so we'll set it so here we have given job name and we'll we'll set it descending it's already ascending so our job name was starting with X so write a here ascending and enter Oops, uh, we need to give it descending not ascending So here, this is our spool X C U N D one T P. So this is the job which we submitted recently. Type a question mark, enter. So here you can see the sys out step one. So only step one was executed. Step one executed successfully, and then job ended. Step two was bypassed because condition was true. So what we'll do? We'll remove this condition and then we'll submit in this case both the steps will be executed so here you can see maxis is 0 and step 1 was uh, is not mentioned I'm pressing F9 so this was the spool of previous job so we'll press F3 so this is the second job which we just submitted so here question mark here you can see sys out which is output of step 1 and output of step 2 so we'll see this step 1 executed successfully and this is step 2 executed successfully this is the first case when we coded condition at the job level now we'll go to second member here we have coded condition at the exec level reset we know step 1 will give 0 as a return code so we want step 2 to be executed if the return code is other than 0 if it fails so this is the condition condition 0 equal step 1 so we'll read 0 equal to return code of step 1 so in this case this will return 0 so 0 equal to 0 so step 2 will not be executed it will be bypassed and then step 3 will be executed when we will submit this job in the spool we can see the step 1 and the step th step 3 so step 2 will be bypassed I'm submitting it submit enter so here you can see max is 0 I'm pressing F9 so this is the third job X C U N D 2 so we have submitted second one question mark you can see the output step 1 and step 3 step 2 is bypassed step 1 executed successfully then step 3 executed successfully so step 2 is bypassed we'll go back and change this condition so 
if I remove this condition and enter and if I will submit it now all the all the steps will be executed or we can do one thing we'll, we'll change the condition of equal to not equal C O N D equal to 0 not equal step 1 so in this scenario this will return 0 so 0 not equal to 0 which is false and this step will be executed so we'll submit it so in this case all the three steps will be executed pressing F9 here you can see max is 0 this is our job we'll see you can identify it from job ID also last one was 980 now this is 981 so here you can see all the three steps are executed we'll open them step 1 successfully then step 2 successfully and then step 3 successfully this was at the exact level third is only condition only condition is specified if we want like a job is abandoned we know any of the step may fail so and but this step should be executed only in the case of abnormal termination of job so this step executes only when previous step abandoned so we have given condition as only so if these two steps if they are normal like they give return code 0 then this step will not be executed and if they give if, if it terminates then this step will be executed so here I have coded program 4 so I know program 4 does not exist so this will terminate the job but here I have coded only so step 3 will be executed so we'll submit this so here you can see a band code because program 4 does not exist so we'll go and check the spool whether step 3 is executed or not F9 so this is our job which we submitted here you can see step 1 was executed executed successfully then step 3 this is executed successfully and step 2 got terminated because this program does not exist so now we'll change this program to program 2 and I know program 2 exists and I have coded only so in this scenario program 1 will get executed 2 will get executed but 3 will not be executed because job is completing successfully without any termination so we'll submit this you can see max is 0 F9 we'll check this output of this one here you can see step 1 and step 2 step 3 is bypassed step 1 successfully step 2 successfully and step 3 is bypassed because job did not terminate abnormally now we will see even condition if you want a step to be executed always irrespective of normal or abnormal termination then we code condition is equal to even so here condition is equal to even we have coded this only difference in only and even is only in only case it will be executed only if the job abends and in even case every time the job will uh, the step will be executed so we know program 4 does not exist and we have given condition even and program 1 will be executed so we'll submit this so it will abend but program 3 will be executed step 3 this is our step 3 we'll check this pool you can see step 1 executed successfully then step 3 executed successfully and step 2 got terminated because program does not exist I will change this to program 2 in this scenario this one exists this one exists 
they they both will return zero and we have coded even in this scenario also our program 3 will be executed because we have given even submit max is zero we'll go and check spool step 1 step 2 step 3 successfully then this is also successful this is also successful now we'll see if else condition this is step 1 then we have coded if condition if step 1 return code not equal to 0 then execute this else this is else condition else execute program 3 we know this will return condition as 0 return code as 0 so 0 not equal to 0 this is false so step 3 will be executed when we will submit this job submit condition code 0 this is our spool output here you can see step 3 got executed now we'll change the condition we'll mention equal EQ in this scenario step 1 will return 0 0 equal to 0 true so step 2 will be executed and step 3 will be bypassed submit condition 0 F9 in this scenario step 2 got executed step 1 successful step 2 successful this is all about conditions we have covered conditions on job statement we have covered conditions on exec statement and we have seen if else conditions in the next video we will cover the DD statement